Hi friends, welcome to a recycle container project and here I have a, a, pro a container from a bath salt um, that I'm going to repurpose or alter into a container that I can use for say putting another gift in and gifting it to somebody else um, or I can even use it for storage or whatever but I think I'm going to put some a little gift in there or something for somebody so all I'm doing is pulling my my stickers off they were pretty easy but if you have any problems with stickers just use a little heat tool first before you even start if you feel that the corners kind of hard to pull and just heat it up and then the sticker should come off way easier I like to do that because then it's not too sticky and then you could just put a little bit of like um, oily substance like even cooking oil anything even dish soap something that just uh, wash off that uh, stickiness if there is a little bit of stickiness um, so then I just sand down a little bit on the top there I just you just seen that just so then my glue will not um, fall off easy that it'll stay on there and give it a little grit or a little texture or something to grab onto I am grabbing things from my stash so I have some beads there I have some silk flowers I grab this uh, jewel thing that I grabbed on sale um, some time ago and um, just checking out some more things I think I'm grabbing um, yes yeah, some uh, fern leaves full fern leaves and um, laces and uh, string I grabbed and doilies and that kind of thing so I'm just um, cutting that up to, for the size and I just kind of play around with it for a little bit to see what I want to put on top and and look at things and see what looks good and that kind of stuff here are my doilies I'm pulling out so I'm just uh, cutting it up to different pieces I'm not even sure if I actually use these but uh, I know I noticed them on my desk after when I was crafting so I can't remember if I used any or not but um, I had them already kind of thing and you can use them for anything just to fill up a little space or whatever I might have not used them because I already had some lace on there and it looked lacy enough but yeah I don't remember actually using them and then I just uh, wrapped up some rope around my fingers here to actually glue that down and um, use that as my starting off my base after I put the lace down and uh, just build from there so it's basically building layers that look good together <coughs> excuse me I'm just using hot glue today um, if you feel that you want something more permanent that is going to be tested <laughs> um, and tugged at you might want to put a little bit of something else other glue and hot glue just to get it going but just keep it still while it's driving drying driving and <laughs> drying um, so here I am cutting some of these nice leaves off and putting them in there and that kind of thing and I like the fern because I can go from the biggest to the smallest leaf to the top and there's such a good choice of size for my projects so I really like that I found a big stack of these I look I keep my eyes open in secondhand stores I keep my eyes open at pieces of things that fall out and they have sometimes in uh, little buckets at Michael's things fall apart and they may sell them cheaper or something I always try to keep my eyes open for all the goodies yard sales even things outside that you can use dried seeds that look really cool like flowers um, seeds off trees things like that would be really cute on this kind of a project got a little bit of nature in there that'd be nice so what I'm doing here is just gluing it down hot glue and there's my flowers to fill it in going on top and figuring it out playing with it and having so much fun it was so relaxing to do this I decided only to decorate the top because I like that the jar was really perfect it was, it's a plastic jar but it was not scratched so it was just so nice to have it look so clear and stuff so I thought I'd just leave that part and just decorate the top here I'm going a little bit smaller in the ferns and just doing my design my decor going with the flow having really f lots of fun with it 
piecing it together like a puzzle. <laughs> puzzle for my eyes. I like how the rope kind of makes it like, I don't know, maybe gives it maybe a little wreathy idea or feel or a nesty feel. And I just think it just looks really good and ties everything in together, kind of holds everything together, which is nice because with the, just the flowers and stuff on top, it might not look so good, but with the rope, it just really holds it together. Ha, just like what rope's supposed to do, right? Tie everything together. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I want these hanging a little bit, but I didn't want them in the way of whoever's going to open my little box or a little container. So I'm just trying to get it so it stays on the lid, but not below the um, the lid part where not to get in the way. It's easy on and off kind of a thing. Don't want it falling apart when someone's trying to open it up. Now I'm grabbing my beads. I believe I grabbed some gold glittery beads in there and just glue them in a few. Oh, and I got some pearly ones too. And love it. Love it. I'm telling you, that rope really ties it together and just gives it a little spot to go nesting in. <laughs> I'm totally like killing myself with these puns or something. I don't even know what they're not even puns. They're just my brains is working in that re really weird way right now. So just putting my little greenery on. I love these little jewels. They're kind of neat. I like how they they look. And I like that they're on the wire. It would be really kind of hard to glue just the little jewels and have them hanging without the little wire. So I like that. I could do that. There's my gold beads. Yay! And then I grabbed some of this um, raffia type of stuff. I don't even know what it is. I use it quite often. <laughs> it's in the crafting section. I think at the dollar store. <coughs> Excuse me. More greenery tied together. I want some on top too. And it's looking really good is looking nesty and just nice pretty so I think um, I'm liking it so much right now and I'm gonna add a little gold paint to it and I do add a little gold paint I love gold it's so pretty is I to dip my finger in there I think I might have used a brush I don't know <laughs> oh my goodness look at me I'm using a brush so I'm just getting a little bit of gold. I guess I want to be a little careful on this one. <laughs> and I probably put a little bit all over, even on the greenery, I imagine. And just, yeah, all over a little bit on the beads, especially the white ones, of course. And um, yeah, it ties it together. Haha, <laughs> another one ties it together. Oh boy, oh boy, what am I going to do it myself? Anyhow. I hope you guys like this video and I'm not too crazy for you and you come back and watch more. I even believe I put some on the jewels here and there because I mean I like gold a lot. I don't wear it but I, I, I do if I, I, a couple things but <laughs> it's expensive but I do like it on my art and I love gold paint. Any kind of gold paint is just fantabulous. So that is about it. I have a little picture at the end, nothing much, but just a little picture at the end. And I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, keep your containers, especially your, you know, bath containers and all that kind of stuff. They tend to be see-through for all the salts and that kind of thing. I think they're pretty cool. I did put more grass on the inside. I'm not sure if I did it while um, on video, but I put some of that nice white grass on the inside. So whatever I put in there will have a little bit of a cushion. I think I did. Look at that. Open it up. And there we go. And there we go. It's cute. So cute. So cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh yeah, there's some Aileen's. That stuff, I don't think they sell anymore at Michael's, but I did pick it up. It's Aileen's um, pendant jewelry gel pendant. No, Aileen's Jewelry Pendant Gel. <laughs> and I just did that because I wanted the flowers to look a little glassy. 
sometimes I do that on my paper flowers too to make them a little glassy. This has been uh, a bottle I've had about three or four years now. I don't use it very often. So yay, last. So if you do have some, there. I don't think it's, they sell it anymore. Anyway, bye again. Talk to you guys all soon.